Hello from Baltimore, Maryland. This is a little bit of our harvest today with our cucumbers. And I'm going to go outside and I want to show this you the garden. This is my cucumber trellis. And I love the idea of a trellis. This is about my third or fourth year doing it. I use my squash, spaghetti squash on a trellis. I use a trellis with my spaghetti squash and my cucumbers. I love the idea because number one, I have very little land. This is the front south side of my house and this is where I plant my vegetables. Otherwise they don't grow as well. And the trellis is awesome. You just have to remember to get out there and train the plants to climb the trellis. It's not a special cucumber, although I love my cucumbers. I get the heirloom type and they're called Japanese long. I love them because they're just, well, they're very big and they're, they're very sweet um, and delicious. So another point I want to show you, so the, the, obviously the, the trellis allows me to have more plants. Everything's off the ground. Um, I have less of the mildew and infection, uh, infestations of any kind of bug. But one of the things I learned a few years ago was the beauty of amaranth. And this is the amaranth plant. And I got the seeds from a cereal box. It was, um, I think, from Trader Joe's or Mom's or something. And it was amaranth cereal. And I thought, well, let me, it looks like seeds. Let's plant it. And it worked. And instead of my cucumber leaves looking like this, they look like this. Big difference. I don't put any kind of um, pesticides or anything on my plants at all. So this really has been a big help for me, um, which is awesome. I like to tell people about it. It's, you don't have to use any kind of chemical and they go right for the amaranth. Another little thing that I do because we get a lot of cucumbers, we love them, um, is I dehydrate them. It's very easy to do. I get my Excalibur a dehydrator. You might as well get a good one if you're going to do it. Um, it becomes more complicated if you have a cheaper cheaper model. Um, it just I, it drives me crazy. It's a very even um, cook. You know, it just cooks evenly. So what I do is, because I like the food living, I put my temperature at 105. It takes a couple days. Of course, today I could probably keep it outside and it, it would, it would uh, dehydrate here. It's just so hot here in Maryland. Um, takes a few days when it snaps in my hand I know it's done then I take it and I put it in a coffee grinder and grind it up and I have cucumber powder all winter long in fact we're still using it from last year so um, and now we enjoy them fresh of course there's nothing like a freshly picked cucumber um, cold from the refrigerator um, but then I know that I that once we start getting them in and I, I accumulate them I will start dehydrating them for next year so that's just a little bit. I hope you can hear me better. Um, we're trying to work out the sound. And uh, thanks for watching. If you can give me a little thumbs up and a like, comment, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and God bless.